Welcome to the channel. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Joining today guys for another video on AliExpress. This time around I've had a good look on AliExpress and I found around 12 new watches or watches that I've not previously seen. There's a couple that I've covered previously but there's different versions to them uh, and it's quite a bit of a mix between dive watches, some dressy options as you can see in front of you and some quite different options. So I'll go through the watches, list off the specifications uh, and talk about the prices and sort of give you a heads up on the newer watches that have just come out. If you choose to purchase any of them, you, you know, you'll find the links within the description. The links are affiliated. And as you guys know by now, I do really appreciate each and every one of you guys clicking through those links. So without further ado, let's start looking at the list and let's start with the bottom one. Right. So the first watch that we have on here is a brand called Sieg Flammer. Hopefully I've said it correct. Now you can see the pictures here. Now this watch bears a very striking resemblance to uh, the Aris 6.5 and also the Christopher Ward uh, C60, I believe. Now looking at the watch, I think the specs are crazy, especially for the price. You've got NH35 movement, you've got a sapphire crystal. It looks like there's an aluminium bezel. Um, you also got a milled clasp on the bracelet, as you can see in this picture, and you've got a diver's extension. So you do get quite a bit for your money. Uh, and you also got a blue and red bezel option really you know vintage and retro looks the price on this watch is 111 pounds or 150 dollars i think it's a great looking watch for that price we scroll down um there have been no orders actually there's been one order um but this watch you can't find it on different stores i'll scroll down here this store here and yada i'll link it in the description it's actually a very interesting store i've looked at a couple of watches on this and you know there's a few that do look quite different um and they are quite appealing so just scrolling down case diameter looking at 42 millimeters um 200 meters of water resistance and a 13 mil case thickness so scroll down further let's show you some more pictures i think those look like a very smart looking watch solid clasp You've got all the specifications here the reliable nh35 the loom looks pretty decent as well so this would be a really interesting watch okay next one now i'm really glad addy's dive have released this just have a look at that that looks so much better now i'll put up a video in the corner i did a video on this uh not too long ago on the previous i think it's a my uh h9 or h10 it was a vintage diver and you know if you guys are familiar with the channel you'll see the watch in the corner there that the watch the case was gorgeous i was fell in love with the case uh, and the actual shape of the case you know with that really high dome sapphire crystal the only issue was with the dial the dial didn't really match it was a field style dial um slash flieger it was a bit of a mismatch between watches um but now this one Again, it looks quite similar to uh, the San Martin Vintage Diver, uh, surprisingly. But I think the dial really does fit. The hands fit as well. Um, you have the same polished centerling bracelets. You won't have a milled clasp. You'll have a stamped clasp. But at the price of £95, which is, what, around $130, it's not something that you can complain about. Let's go down uh, on the Addis Dive. You can see the previous one there. And you can see how this one looks just so much better and how it should have been in the first go so i think this is going to be a really good watch it is definitely one that i will be considering to putting an order in okay third on the list rudland i think that's how you say it now rudland i am aware of them i've not actually bought any watches of them to date they're just too pricey um i don't see anything which i can justify the price on um however they have now done this 50 fathoms homage uh, and i must say the first two colors they have tried really hard um to you know homage it as accurately as possible i'm guessing um you so you really have the two very vintage color options and you also have some modernized this pastel pink which is quite brave and then you've got this pastel green um the watches look fantastic they come with the pt 5000 movement of course sapphire etc stainless steel the price is 250 pounds um which is around 300 dollars so you know top end san martin money um as mentioned pt5000 movement it's a 41 mil case now traditionally uh with a lot of these homages they do make the cases to be quite big so a 41 uh, case diameter i think is quite appealing so let's scroll down see if we have any more pictures no we do not and as well as traditional colors you've also got these uh quite contemporary colors as well so i think it's a well-rounded representation but the price yes it is a bit expensive uh 
this is on the Kemeri watch store and we have no orders as of yet next on the list okay this one a Duka or Duka however you want to say it now this watch of course is a homage to the IWC um, aqua timer uh, not only that Rudland also made a homage which looked exactly the same as this one so I'm assuming that this is uh, that same watch um, but just with different branding now the difference is um, you know, the Rudland was quite expensive and this one is just under 90 pounds which is around 125 dollars so I think it's incredible value for money watch um, I really love the looks of it I like that green um of course the blue is really nice as well then you've got this black and white version and you also have this blue and white and let's just show you one more you also have the yellow and black which is a bit closer to the one um from iwc you've got center brushed links um let's just have a look at other pictures see what else the watch has so nh 35 100 meters of water resistance double dome sapphire crystal uh, i think that bezel insert might be sapphire but it doesn't detail that within the description of course 316 i'll say in the steel case and you've got these h-link bracelets um i don't know the quality of the bracelet uh, let's have a look yes the picture shows that it is a milled clasp so a lot of watch for the money uh very very reasonably priced i think the only thing that stopped me from buying the rudland version was the fact that um yeah the price was just a bit too much like the 55 uh, fathoms that we've just looked at so this is a great alternative i believe and you know pictures looking at them i think it looks to be a really well made watch this is definitely gonna get ordered just to have a closer look at this diameter i think the case diameter on this is 44 millimeters which you know in the grand scheme of things isn't that bad i've worn bigger watches and you know it should wear just right next on the list let's move up okay we have this is possibly the best value for money watch on this list hands down now i did briefly cover thorn on a previous aliexpress video i also reviewed the previous mm 300 homage models um, and i got the plain dial um, the sterile dial because i wasn't too happy with the, the way they did the font now let's have a look at this let me take some time to explain this watch to you guys so this is what they call it as a homage to the lx um mm 300 but it's a bit of a mishmash between um the landmaster i believe and then of course a dive watch but on top of that you do have a gmt complication so specs double dome sapphire crystal you've got a stainless steel bezel insert um you've got 316 l stainless steel case i'll just touch on the movement slightly let's look at a few more pictures so you've got the thorn branding now on this style the thorn branding does not look as offensive as it did previously yeah i mean it's not the best but i guess i could live with that you've got some really nice hour markers on the dial you've got the 24 hour markers on the inside of the chapter ring and of course you've got the directional um compass around the outside on that bezel so the closer pictures show really really good attention to detail let's have a closer look and that pvd looks amazing i love that black and yellow combination bgw9 loom so i think overall it does look really good um the price is 120 but you can get it for as little as 117 which brings it down to 150 to 160 dollars the diameter is 45 millimeters with a 50 mil log to log now let's touch on the movement so this uses the hangzhou 6460 gmt movement now for those uh, avid viewers out there you know that san martin did um that you know homage with uh this exact same gmt movement now the price difference was is actually crazy you know those were well above 250 pounds now i don't know how they've done it but they have done it you know under 120 pounds you do get that clone eta movement now there is a misconception the actual movement that it is a clone of the eta 2836-2 is actually not a official eta movement it's actually an eta movement which has been modified with chinese parts so eta never ever made a 28362 movement um however um this movement that is in there i think it's a bit better because it's a bit more reliable so you know bearing that in mind um and the construction of the watch going back to the review that i did of the thorn um lx diver um it was actually really well made um there was a touch a bit of misalignment uh, and there was really over the top ar coating which you can see but i think you know given the design 
uh, and the build quality and that is one hell of a funky crown there i think the watch will be a really good buy now, i've had one or two subscribers already messaged me about this watch uh, and i've had my eye on this watch for the last couple of weeks um but i think i will definitely pull the trigger on this one now i might get both the silver or and the black because i think both look um just as incredible as each other so this one is the star of the show this is the best value for money watch so far okay let's move on to steel dive now i'm going to be really quick on the steel dive i think they're having a bit of a giraffe um translated they're having a bit of a laugh a 3000 meter uh watch from steel dive let's just quickly have a look at the video now this is clearly a homage to the zealous abyss um 3000 meters i don't know big bulky bronze watch and um, the price of 334 pounds which is around 460 dollars so way more expensive than san martin even i don't know if they'll get that honestly um i think yeah as, as I mentioned, you know, there's no proof that they test these to that uh, limit. Um, but, you know, for Steel Dive, that is a hell of a lot of money, you know, especially when the Captain Willard's homages, they sell at 60. Now you're looking at the top end of 330 quid. Um, I don't know what they're thinking, honestly. It's not something that I'll be purchasing, but I'll put it out there because it is a newly released watch. The second one I've got is a B&R homage, as you can clearly see that. And again, you know, a thousand meter watch. Um, absolutely crazy. I do like... The way they've done the case i think that's different um you know it's like screwed down and you've got these knurled um pins let's just say collars you know holding a watch case together so it looks great um but again 300 plus pounds you know over 400 dollars i don't know who's going to spend that to be honest on a watch from aliexpress move up and i think this might be a homage of a boulder i read somebody mentioned now i love the dial on this the case not a fan um thousand meters hella massive case absolutely monstrous um you know it's saying a thousand meters but you got screwed on case back um and i don't know honestly how how well this can perform but like i said i like the dial like the red uh, across the 15 minute marker on the chapter ring just not a fan of the case and yes it will be a huge watch so it's worth mentioning them i will link it of course in case somebody wants to check it out but not for me now next i've picked a parnis now this stood out straight away uh let's have a look at the price between 115 pounds to 126 on the pvd version which is around 160 dollars 150 155 it's a 44 mil case watch with a miota 8219 movement now the reason this stood out is there is a micro brand out there i'll put up a picture just now uh they're called rec watches now they make watches out of old uh, mustangs four gts you know these really really old classic cars therefore combining the love of cars and watches uh, and this just looks like that um you know it bears a very close resemblance to it without actually being a like for like model you know clearly the center of the watch does look like the speedometer on uh, on classic cars so i think it's a very good attempt from parnis it's definitely worth mentioning and you know at 160 dollars 115 dollars 115 pounds sorry is not going to break the bank 44 mil case diameter sapphire crystal you know the usual specs and i think this is a really good purchase something very different from parnis and i really do like what i see okay moving on rectangular okay i won't spend too much time on this watch uh, i have done a full review on this um really nice watch really out there that is the color combo for me just have a look at this black and yellow so they have released a pvd version that's why i'm showing this watch and you've got pvd black and red uh black and yellow black and orange and black and blue but for me as mentioned that star of the show is going to have to be this black and yellow one looks very sporty very summary watch obviously the watch is out there they were built really really well um the only issue i had was the bezel i think it was a 60 click bezel it was really loose it really did let the watch down but everything else uh, down to the dial was really really incredible on the watch so any 35 sapphire crystal etc let's move on up um escape my time i recently reviewed this um it's a 38 mil case watch of course homaging the vintage um longines conquest um the reason i'm showing you this is the black and gilt dial i think that looks really incredible the white one i believe is out of stock 65 orders five star rating as what you find with a lot of uh escapement time pieces they are just incredibly well made i've still got mine i uh, still wear mine and i think it is a really nice um you know old school watch now a new one so this is where it gets interesting we have a brand here called l eternity now 
El Eternity is associated with, I don't know if they are the factory though, that produce brands like Merca. Uh, I think they've got some relation to Suges and maybe Proxima. But what that tells me is, you know, they do have a very high build quality uh, about them. Um, actually, they have, they are a known uh, factory within China. Uh, and, you know, they do have a bit of background behind them. It's a 38 millimeter dress watch with a Miyota 9015 movement and it just looks stunning in the pictures. Dauphine style hands, very highly polished case, hour markers. Not too sure about that little crown. I don't think it really fits well with the aesthetic. I think it, they could have just machined it a bit better. However, I think the watch looks stunning. It's got great dimensions. It's something that we all uh, call out for. Uh, and again, it's back on the Anyada watch store, as I said before. Please check out that store. It's got some really interesting things on there. So case thickness, 8.5 mil. I don't know how they've done that. That's quite thin. I, I don't think that's going to be that true. But the movement in here is a Miyota 9015 high beat movement. Stainless steel case, really stunning black gloss style. It also comes with white and gold. And of course, just normal white and silver and black and gold. I think this is uh, definitely one to look out for. Price bit on the pricey side 223 pounds and around 309 dollars so i don't know pictures make it look nice but that's up to you guys to decide if it is definitely worthy so let's move on up and i have another one for you guys and i don't know what this one's called this is called sworn hang on Swarnery original um ironically it says that but at the bottom look what it says um just above the six but yeah, definitely a unique looking timepiece. Uh, it uses a Miyota movement, 43 mil case diameter, um, arrow ended hands, uh, a bit similar to the Omega Seamaster. Now, to come to think of it, even the dial is quite similar to that, but the case shape is quite different, so I'll give them that. Um, looks quite interesting, BGW9, the price is $120. Sorry, the price is £120, $160. So it's definitely worth looking at something quite different. Um, but as mentioned, these are newly released watches, so there's not uh, there's no orders placed, there's no reviews as of yet. So if you want to wait, go ahead. Um, any more specs? Yeah, Miyota movement, 50 meters of water resistance, and apparently two years warranty. But you know, interesting enough, and this has got some BGW9 loom present, a bit of signage on the crown, and on the close-ups, it looks decent enough. Okay, now for the last watch another dress watch i've decided to you know really try and mix it up this time and we have a brand called poniga hopefully i'm saying it correctly and again another really elegant uh, dress watch um let's have a look sapphire crystal does a few really nice color options for me it's that blue that really does it it's got skeletonized dauphine style hands really nice seconds hand, automatic movement uh, i don't know anything else about it though so sapphire crystal stainless steel let's see what we can find Nothing else on here. 42 mil case diameter. Yes, arguably a little big, but a lot of dress watches are on the larger size. Let's have a look if we get any, any more information. No, we can't get any more information on this. Let's check out the description. If you're saying it's a top quality motor movement. Sapphire, 42 mil, 11 mil millimeters case thickness and 50 meters of water resistance. So decent enough looking watch. Price point £113, around $156. So that is it for me guys today on this list. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you did find it beneficial. If you do want to purchase any of these, take a look in the description. I have linked all the stores and the watches that I've spoken about today. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section, which ones you are likely to pull the trigger on. Um, and I will definitely, after this video, pull the trigger on a few that I've spoken about. Uh, and then hopefully we'll get them in, we'll unbox and review Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.